Welcome back to the Vine vs. Club. I'm your host, Jimo Wunderlich. Let's get right into it with VIC readings, the format where we look at the best of the best value investment recommendations by the best of the best value investors out there. Today, we have a Ferguson PLC, ticker is FERG. Price to the point of finding is $147.14. Um, let's get right into it. Let me first say this is not a recommendation, not advice. Please do your own diligence before investing into anything. And let's get right into it. Description, summary. Excellent, well-managed company, track record of strong, proven organic growth, accreditively consolidating a fragmented industry, high free cash flow with 100% conversion, 35 to 40% plus RE, uh, RCE, AAA ESG rating, clean balance sheet with 1.1x leverage and material capital returns, 2% dividend yield, 2.5 billion buyback authorization. Company has repurchased more than 11% of the company since the beginning of fiscal 20. One of the largest distributors in the country with more than 29, uh, 29 billion in revenues. Dominant in its categories, market share winner, exposure to solid long-term end markets diversified across residential, 45, uh, 54%, and non-residential, 46%, and RMI, 60%, and new construction, 40%. Despite the company's history, size, and business quality belief, the stock remains under the radar domestically as it only recently changed its listing from the London Stock Exchange to the New York Stock Exchange. It has been historically primarily covered by European analysts who don't know the US and markets and is not yet included in any major US industry coverage groups or indices. Each of these factors are dynamically changing and is an opportunity to buy an exceptional compounding asset in a technical transitional period at, in my idea, a highly discounted absolute and relative valuation to its inferior peers. FERC trades at uh, 2 to 5x plus EBITDA multiple discount to most of its peers and believe this disparity will collapse over a short horizon with several fundamental and technical ways to win as described herein. History slash business. Diversified, value-added distribution business that dominates in its core end markets. 75% of revenue from markets we hold in the number one or number two position. Majority of business is driven by more stable and less discretionary report, uh, repair slash remodel RMI, uh, repair and maintenance improvement markets, and natural inflation beneficiary. Market share number one in core plumbing uh, slash PVF, waterworks, commercial slash mechanical fire and uh, fabrication, and number two in industrial and resi trade, and a third in or residential trade and third in facilities supply and HAVAC, number fourth in re residential e commerce, uh, see page six for annual report for chart on market size, share, and TAM. Competitively advanced share gainer due to scale, density, supply chain, uh, supply chain slash procurement, and inventory per, uh, advantages. Omni channel go to market offering, inventory positioning, uh, ability to be a multi trade a specified supplier, a classic distribution model sitting in the middle of a fragmented 37,000 supply base on one side and 1 million uh, customers on the other. Current market distribution center, MDC, rollout plan places highly automated slash robotics driven facilities in each major US market, further distancing FERC from its competition. Driving share and widening its inventory, cost, scale, and time to market modes. U.S. organic growth rates uh, from 2011 to 2022, 8%, 8.8%, 8.6%, 8.9%, 4.7%, 7.4%, 9.9%, 6.2%, 0.4%, and COVID, 12.8%, and 24.2%. Over this time frame, M&A added a further 2% annually on average to the top line. Excellent and aggressive management team. Highly variable cost structure, 60 to 70%. Proven ability during COVID and prior to prior slower periods to manage the business and protect profitability. Hosted, uh, hosted an inaugural, inaugural investor day in January 22. Great desk and presentation on IR side. Targeted a large, long-only institutions and new domestic sell side coverage, providing a comprehensive overview of the strategy in establishing compelling medium-term growth and earnings targets. Number one, management projects, 7 to 12% annual revenue growth. 
three to five percent market growth, plus three to four percent share gains, plus one to three percent MA. Two, operating leverage, material 100% FCF conversion. Three, teens earnings growth before material buybacks. History. Operations are 100% in the US and Canada, but the stock has historically listed in the UK as Ferguson was formerly the crown jewel uh, division uh, for of the multinational conglomerate of Wolseley uh, PLC over time. Uh, over time, Wolseley divested all of uh, its other assets, switched reporting to GAAP in US dollars, uh, culminate, uh, culminate culminating uh, with a decision to move uh, the listing from the UK to the US, a two-year process that was completed in May 22. CEO, CFO, senior FERC management, all US-based and most been with the company long time. Thesis slash opportunity. Timing of above-mentioned listing change unluckily occurred during volatile stock market backdrop, creating an air pocket of demand for the stock. On the front end, the stock was delisted in the UK and as a former FTSE 100, uh, 100 member caused systematic technical passive selling as FERC was removed from that index. Estimate uh, more than 10 to 15% of float have uh, seen uh, been have since been in a time frame where the natural fundamental and long only buyers both don't know that the company uh, don't know that company yet and are reluctant to add exposure to current macro backdrop sir. Furthermore, until very recently, FERB was not eligible for U.S. major index inclusion. Number one, all tests for Russell inclusions were just passed and FERC will be added to the Russell 1000 index effective June 23rd estimate that this will drive 1.5 billion of index related buying volume, 5% of the company. Number two, earlier this year, all tests were also passed for S&P 500 inclusion, unlike the Russell, which is systematic. S&P 500 inclusion is at the discretion of the committee and can occur either on quarterly, quarterly rebalances, earlier September is the next change, a chance, or if a company is taken out between quarters due to merger, ATVI, um, Activision, or other issues, FRC, SIVB. Belief is a top inclusion candidate based on its size slash large market cap, revenue base versus other eligible companies, and also should benefit from an industry weighing per perspective. Belief is a matter of uh, when not if FERG will be added and estimate that this will drive further index related buying representing 15 to 70% of the company. Belief the number one, uh, believe that number one, the relisting will ultimately abstract material, natural, domestic, fundamental buy side investors who had previously not known or covered the company and or been able to invest due to lack of domestic listing and resultant liquidity. Stock is now highly liquid having traded domestically for last year or so. And number two, sell-side research coverage will continue to transfer to the more appropriate, relevant domestic ana analyst, e.g. Uh, JP Morgan, UBS, and uh, Jefferies recently switched following Barclays last year. And third, most importantly, the likely inclu inclusion in the S&P 500 and Russell indices will provide a material technical tailwind as well as cause a fundamental and long only index slash sub index benchmark investors to focus on us a belief FERG will become a must known slash own stock. Fundamentally, I believe the, com uh, the market is concerned about the company's construction, exposure, slash related volumes, and that inflation is now a headwind as many distributors have been somewhat over-earning. I believe FERC has much less new construction exposure uh, than its comps and that the combination of finished goods, 85% versus commodity, 15%, mixed share gains, operating leverage, and M&A sets a much higher earnings base versus market expectations. Unlike many of its distribution peers, FERC's um, gross margin did not materially expand during the last several years of excess inflation, and the company's gross margins have already largely normalized and have been incorporated in company guidance. Strategic, op strategic optionality, given its dominance in the segments, it operates, and especially since uh, it largely sells to the trade pro, believe FERC would be an excellent target for HD or low. Each is strategically focused on the faster growing attractive pro customer. And if one was successful in buying FERG and would own this market forever and box out the other, view as the lower probability probability event and also downside protection on FERG stock. Know that Trine is the sixth uh, number six holder and owns 7.4 million shares of or 3.6% uh, of the company.
comps, EBITDA multiples. FAS, 18.3x. Site, 18.2x. WSO, 16.3. Pool, 16. Uh, HD, 13.8. Uh, GWW, 13.2. Low, 11.4. CNM, 9.9. And based on public disclosures, the average annual organic growth of uh, these companies over the last five to 10 years has been 300 to 500 basis points less than FERC. Conclusion, opportunity to buy an exceptional compounding asset in a transitional period at a discounted absolute and relative valuation with immediate catalysts to collapse this EBITDA multiple disparity with a more than $30 billion market cap, FER currently trades at 11.3x EBITDA, 15.5x earnings, and a 6.5% FCF yield. C, a compelling risk reward with modest downside risk based on the quality and stability FCF uh, and growth of the business, plus a put to HD or uh, low. In a base case, C, a $190 stock up 30% S. Earnings deliver and multiple expands 2 to 3x. And in a bull case, CA $225 stock um, up more than 50% as the company is added to the S&P 500 and Russell 1000. The stock is fully distributed and trades in line with the best comps as it should given its size and superior growth and ROC. Catalyst continued execution and index inclusion. Thank you very much for tuning in. See you next time. Please write down in the comments below what you think of this idea.